Hello again, I'm Mike. So, I have a new keyboard, and I'm super excited about it. Mainly because this one works, and works properly. So, my old keyboard is a Cooter Master full-size keyboard, white backlit, Cherry MX Blue Switches, love Blue Switches, and it was great at first. At first. Then... The E key st started sticking, the F1 key, the T key, the W key, the 7 key on the numpad. They all started getting weird feeling and spongy and not clicky anymore, and it was just odd. And to make things even worse, for some odd reason, every time I booted my computer, it would just hang. Not the computer, the keyboard. It would not recognize for a good 45 seconds until after the, or 45 seconds to a minute after the computer was booted. So it would pull up like DM and I couldn't type in my password for like a minute. I'd just be sitting here twiddling my thumbs, waiting on my keyboard to light up. That's infuriating. And I can just be using the keyboard and it would just disconnect. And then reconnect. And then when it would, I'd be, I'd be in the middle of typing something. It would disconnect. And let's say I was, I had touched the I key as soon as it disconnected. It would string eyes all the way across the key, all the way across the screen. That was unacceptable. So I got, I got on the hunt for a new mechanical keyboard. I was looking at Philco's. I was looking at DOS keyboards. I was looking at duckies and whatnot. And I found the one that I wanted. The only problem is that it's not backlit. But honestly, I'm rarely ever in here in the dark, so it doesn't really matter too much. I guess I can just show it off now. This is my new keyboard. And let me get the cords and whatnot. I like a wired keyboard, even though I'm showing reasons why you should why it's terrible. That is my new keyboard. Isn't it beautiful? And one thing that's really cool about it too is right here, that's a USB type C. It's, it's over USB 2, of course, but it's still a USB type C. So it's a sturdier connector, much like, uh, much unlike the other 10 keyless Cooler Master keyboard that I had a few years ago where it would just get loose and all of a sudden pff, fall out. So I've had a really bad experience with Cooler Master keyboards. So I will not be buying another one. Not as long as this one still works. I have, I love this keyboard. And I love the mechanical keyboard because I have big hands, big heavy, I'm a heavy typer, I have big heavy fingers and you know, and I love the clicky clackety sound of the keyboard it's great it just makes my inner nerd feel wonderful let me swap over to the terminal and i'll and i'll kind of type a little bit and let you hear it and look we're looking at the terminal so let's do ah i'm not clicked in that just sounds so good to me it may not sound great to you, but they but mechanical keyboards are, don't have to be clicky. They make several different kinds of switches. If you want a silent keyboard, get the reds. If you want a tactile bump but still kind of silent, get the browns. If you want the clickety clackety like I like, get the blues or the greens. It's just something I kind of wanted to geek out about because I have been using this keyboard for a few weeks now, and this thing has been awesome. I love it. It works and works properly, and it's got media controls on it. I mean, and it's just got such a good feel. Let's just type something else.
And lo, my name is Inigo the Toiler. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Oh, it mispronounced an Inigo, but close enough. So, <laughs> I don't know. I love the Princess Bride references, too. So, I watched that movie a couple days ago with my son. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of geek out a little bit on the keyboard. This, th- this thing is great. I love the blue switches. I love the feel of the keyboard. It's, this thing is heavy. This thing can probably, you could probably bludgeon someone to death with this thing. It's, 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 it's heavy. It's solid. There's no flex at all. This thing is great. And it's got USB type C. It's got two different, two different. If you look here, it's got a tall stand and a short stand. For to show that there. And if you wanted to have the tall one up, there you go. So I I generally use it flat, but this thing is this thing is great. Uh, it came with replacement keycaps, so if you notice the blue on the keyboard on the keyboard, they were they were all various shades of gray. So, and it came with blue replacements. So I replaced them with the blue ones. And I really like it. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to kind of want to show that off a little bit. And yeah, so that's my new keyboard. This thing is fantastic. I'll probably have a link to link to the keyboard on Amazon down in the description. Uh, I'm not affiliated, so if you like it, pick it up. Highly recommend it. It's great. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a nice day. Like, share, and subscribe.